Viruses, immune system disorders, medication, alcohol. Whatever the cause, hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E. Each of the five viruses that are responsible for the disease has its own specific characteristics and effects. Particularly deadly, hepatitis C, or HCV, is also the most difficult to treat. It spreads through the body via the bloodstream following blood transfusions or unsafe drug injection. Scientists think it is also possible that hepatitis C can be transmitted from mother to fetus during pregnancy or during sexual intercourse. Once in the body, the virus attacks the liver, whose job is to filter the blood. From there, the hepatitis C virus gets into the lobules, the units which enable the organ to function. Like all viruses, HCV has to penetrate a cell to survive and multiply. Alerted to the intrusion, the body sends in immune cells, its first line of defense. But in eliminating the virus, they also destroy the liver cells that harbor them. Luckily, in 20 to 40 percent of cases, the body's immune system rids itself of the invaders within six months. But most often, the immune cells aren't up to the task. After six months, the infection becomes chronic and symptoms start to appear. Fever, fatigue, loss of appetite, yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine, nausea and vomiting. Inside the body, the virus continues to multiply and infect more lobules that are then destroyed by the immune cells. The destroyed lobules are replaced by what is called scar tissue. As scar tissue increases, it affects the liver's ability to function. This scarring process is called liver fibrosis. The liver shrinks and hardens, its blood vessels flatten, forcing the blood to bypass it. An excess of blood around the liver can lead to edema and esophageal varices. The next step is cirrhosis, which can progress to liver cancer, which can be fatal.